Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today I'm making beef tongue. If you really are against eating organ meat, like if you think it's gross, beef tongue is so much like steak nutritionally that I think I would stick to trying to make yourself like liver. If you, you already eat in your liver and you got that cover and you want to branch out, beef tongue is good. You don't have to like organ meat to like it. Let's get this thing out of the wrapping. Get your, get your mind past <laughs> what it looks like. It's not pretty. This is a job for the Instant Pot. If you don't have the Instant Pot or a pressure cooker, then you can boil it. But we're gonna get this, we gotta get this thing really tender. I'm just gonna put the whole tongue, the whole big piece, right into the Instant Pot. I'm gonna throw some bay leaf in there. My dogs are fighting. Ladies! And then I'm gonna cover this with water. Ugh. But we're going for one hour. I want this thing tender. Finally done. Now we just gonna remove this from the pot and put it on a plate in the fridge. As soon as this is cool enough to handle, this membrane is gonna come peeling right off as easy as pie. All right, our tongue is cool enough to handle, but it's not cold yet. Once this thing gets cold, it's gonna be solid, like you're not gonna be able to peel this thing off. But watch how easy we can peel this yuck part off. When it's still warm. Just gotta get in there. This is a hands-on task. Get under that membrane, see that, and just peel it off. Do not try this after it cools. This is a really thick skin. It's gonna come off like in one piece almost. Well, look at that. It comes right off. Just kind of get in there and pull. Alright, so we got all this stuff peeled off. Now the next step, I want to slice this super thin. So I'm going to put this in the fridge for a few hours because it's going to like kind of solidify, almost like as if it had like gelatin in it. And then it's going to be easier to cut it into nice thin slices. So I'm just going to stick this in the fridge, go to work, and when I get home, I'm going to make it for dinner. I'm going to make a nice Latin American inspired marinade. Green olives, onions, cilantro, fresh is even better. I have all these little tiny mandarin oranges. I wish I had one big orange, but I don't. I'm gonna use some lime, garlic, and Mexican oregano. I'm just gonna blend this up. Let's see what this tastes like. Mmm. Spot on. Now, look at this. Oh, gross. So you can see this has like some, look at that wiggling right there. This has some gelatinous qualities. We're gonna slice this into super thin pieces. We want it to get nice and crispy when we cook it. And now that it's cool, it's gonna hold together really nice. Look at that, it's perfect. And now it doesn't look like tongue at all. <laughs> Put all this beautiful meat back in the bowl. Hold this up and then pour that marinade right over that. Get it mixed in good. I'm just gonna let that sit for like 10 or 15 minutes. This is gonna be amaze balls. Wait till I make my Rocky Mountain oysters, that phrase will really be appropriate. All right, so these have been marinating. You know, they're even better if you go like overnight. It really soaks in the flavor. Now I'm going to show you how I make them crispy and delicious. <laughs> it's them, it's a one tongue, it, I guess. Anyway, now that we've had this soaking in all the marinade, we wanna scrape that extra liquid off with a spoon. All that goop on top, all that liquid is gonna prevent it from getting this gorgeous crispy texture that we want. These have to be on a single layer. There it is. Still a little bit of marinade left on top, but not enough for me to be concerned about. So now I'm just gonna pop this in the toaster oven. I'll tell you how long it took once they're crispy. Look what happens to this. Just look at it. Like, I don't even understand the science behind what goes on when you put beef tongue in the oven. I don't care. All I know is it gets really crispy and really delicious. And only beef tongue does this, as far as I know. I do have one little piece of advice. So if you pull these out and you start eating them and um, they're kind of soft and like gelatinous and you don't like the texture, then that means you need to put them back in here. And what you can do is you could even shred them up into like a taco, kind of a shredded taco meat, and then put them back in here and just bake that until it's all crispy. 
So there you have it, delicious, crispy, Latin American style lengua, beef tongue. I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe below. I put new videos out every Thursday. I'm gonna go enjoy some beef tongue. I hope to see you soon and until then, be healthy.